You're a good shaker. You can tell a lot about a girl by the way she shakes her paint. Well, 26 years ago, I took my first water marbling class and I fell in love with it. It's so whimsical and so fun. And I think the best part about it for me at the time is I couldn't mess it up. Everything turned out beautifully. This is my favorite thing to say to people who say, I can't do this. And I'm like, if you can shake Parmesan cheese and you can stir your coffee with a stirrer, you can totally do this. Hi, my name is Patty. I'm the owner of Meaningful Art and I'm a water marbling artist. Well, we're here at Crafted Port of LA in San Pedro, California. We are a warehouse built in the 1940s that houses 40 plus artists and artisans. We teach people how to water marble on silk. And I always say that you don't have to have a creative bone in your body to learn how to do this beautiful, whimsical art. No, not artsy at all. Not creative <laughs> at all. There's no mistakes in marbling, only happy accidents. You can't mess this up, sister. <laughs> we make it very easy here. After you've chosen your colors and your designs, we bring you over to the water marbling tables and we are your biggest coaches and cheerleaders. Hey, you did it! Oh, that looks awesome. High five! Love it. We teach you how to float paint in the water, how to use various marbling tools to create some really unique designs. This is like mesmerizing. And then when the design is complete and you love what you see floating on the water, we take a piece of white silk and we lay it on top of your design. And the silk has been pre-treated. So it absorbs the design, picks up the paint, and voila, masterpiece complete. Oh, it's lovely. You did such a nice job. It's really easy. Uh, I work in finance, so I'm very like precise about everything. And I just like got out of my head and you know, I was like, Whatever, just gonna go for it. Oh my goodness. We started out just uh, water marbling silk scarves, and then we went to bandanas, and then we just expanded. Now we do not only silk, but we also marble different surfaces. So we'll marble sneakers, baseball caps, fans, parasols, kites, um, as well as ties uh, and sarongs. You start off doing some very basic things and that's what we teach people here. But as you grow accustomed to the art form and you understand the tools and you understand how the paint works and the marbling size, which is the water, works, all of a sudden the creativity just explodes. Now we're gonna get sassy. You're only limited by your imagination. 